Coming up, a condemned killer wanted jelly beans for his last meal in California. The stars at the Concert for Life. Madonna's new mega contract. And Playboy hunts for rectors women to take off their clothes. See you soon. One teen in five is at great risk of getting AIDS. Could it happen to your child? Find out when we examine the hard facts tomorrow on Good Day New York. Seven reasons people want a Nissan Sentra. Strict family tradition to own one of the ten best cars. Only affordable sedan that fits five and doesn't feel like the subway. Couldn't resist $500 savings on cruise, air, and stereo cassette package. Nissan Sentra E retains more of its value than Corolla. It's priced over a thousand less than Civic. Has this really neat cup holder. And the one reason... Special savings end May 4th, less than two weeks. See your Nissan dealer now. The U.S. Postal Service will pick up one, or 100, or 1,000 priority mail and express mail packages for just 450. That's per pickup, not per package. And we'll even pick up heavy ones. You'll get express mail next day and two-day priority mail delivery at some of the lowest prices around. So call for a pickup. It's like getting a moving van for 450. Some people ask why I'm on WPLJ when I used to knock PLJ. Well, this is not the old PLJ. It's a completely different radio station. Rod Stewart, Madonna, Phil Collins, hit music for grown-ups. I mean, I've grown up some myself, and I don't want to hear a lot of rap or hard stuff. I think other people feel the same way. So what I'm saying is, give us a try. The new 95.5 PLJ. We think you'll like it. How was that? Good job, Dad. There is a sound that you can expect to hear in the triangle below Canal Street. It's the sound of German being spoken by those who make the art and those who are awed by it. Beth, the number one imported German beer in Tribeca, America, and the world. I couldn't keep away from it, and I started to think about bread, and all the rest of it went away. Obsession and Klein. Now, your gift, with any $30 obsession purchase at a and it's 10 p.m. Do you know where your children are? From Fox 5, this is the 10 o'clock news with John Rowe, Cora Ann Mahalik, Nick Gregory with weather, and Carl White with sports. Good evening. Robert Harris will not be taking a short walk to his death in the death chamber in California, at least not just yet. His lawyers persuaded the court to go along with their fight to put it off for a while. Tony Valdez is outside San Quentin Prison right now. Tony. John, we're going to try and make sense out of a very confusing situation. About 10 minutes ago, a judge at the 9th District Court of Appeals, which is in San Francisco, about 15 miles south of us here on San Francisco Bay, stayed the execution for at least seven days, saying that he wants the entire 28-judge panel on that uh, Court of Appeals to look into the possibility that Harris's brother, Danny, may have participated in the killing of the two young boys that eventually led Harris to be convicted and sentenced to die here at San Quentin. Now, exactly what is going to happen now is almost anyone's guess. There could be an appeal by California's Attorney General, Dan Lundgren, and that could overturn this stay, which means that Harris could still die tonight. The state of California has until midnight Tuesday to complete this execution. Otherwise, this whole thing is put off for at least another 40 days, regardless of whatever kind of a stay may be in place. Meanwhile, prior to this that came in just about 10 minutes ago here, the latest word on death row tonight was that Robert Alton Harris seemed resigned to the fact that he was going to die tonight. According to prison sources, he was spending his day today shaking hands with inmates, guards, assorted other people here, as though he were bidding them farewell. He did spend some time today with his family. Our understanding is that if everything had gone according to schedule, he would have been moved right about now into that building immediately in back of the large guard tower. That is the death watch cell right next to the gas chamber. That movement scheduled for after 6 o'clock local time is part of a carefully choreographed plan to control every aspect of the execution. 
San Quentin, the oldest prison in California, is operating at this hour under what's known as Procedure 769. It's a 34-page document describing in minute detail exactly how Robert Alton Harris will be executed in a room directly beneath that ventilation tube. Everything is ready now in the gas chamber. It has not been used since April of 1967, exactly 25 years ago. 186 men and four women have been put to death here over the past 30 years. Before that, 307 men were executed here by hanging. The last meal consists of a 21-piece bucket of Kentucky Fried ch Chicken, extra crispy. It's also been approved to have two large pizzas with no anchovies. Requested a six-pack of Pepsi, regular, one bag of jelly beans, and a pack of Camel cigarettes. Harris was arrested just hours after murdering two 16-year-old San Diego boys, John Majeski and Michael Baker. Harris and his brother Danny used their car to hold up a bank. Ironically, Baker's father, a San Diego police detective, was the one who tracked down Harris right after the robbery, not knowing at the time that his son was lying dead in a gully miles away. Five execution dates have been set for Harris since 1979. He has outlived four of them. I'm probably a little more confident now that I got through the Ninth Circuit Court because that's always been the weak link in the chain. You know, the uh, U.S. Supreme Court, I think I've got more confidence in. So, But I still don't know. We're still going to have to wait and see. Harris is spending his last hours alone except for the guards who constantly monitor him. If at 11.30 tonight, California time, there has not been a stay of execution, Harris will put on blue jeans, a blue shirt, and a heart monitor, nothing else. At 12.01, Harris will be strapped into one of two chairs inside the gas chamber with 50 witnesses watching through glass windows. Now, just to put everything into perspective as briefly as possible, as of this moment, the execution of Robert, the execution of Robert Alton Harris has been stayed by a federal judge. However, uh, there are indications now that the California Attorney General is making an attempt to reach one of the Supreme Court justices in an attempt to get that stay overturned and have this execution, pr execution proceed as scheduled sometime tonight here in California. Reporting live from just outside San Quentin, I'm Tony Valdez for Fox News. Claire Ann. Thank you very much, Tony, for the very latest. And Fox News wants to know what you think. We have been asking the question. Should Robert Alton Harris be put to death in California's gas chamber? If you say yes, call this number, 1-900-786-8585. If you say no, call this number, 1-900-786-8787. Each call will cost you 75 cents. The results from Fox News at 7 show that 70% say yes, he should be put to death. Only 30% say no. We will have another update for you later on in this broadcast. Well, one down, three to go in the hunt for the muggers who put a priest in the hospital for Easter. Some witnesses identified the one suspect the police have right now. Kyung Yoon reports. 24-year-old Todd Brown of Brooklyn is charged with pistol whipping and robbing Monsignor James Haggerty at a bank in Park Slope last Thursday. The 69-year-old priest was waiting in line to deposit some $700 in cash and $50,000 in tuition checks for St. Xavier's School when he was attacked. Police say it's not the first time Brown and three others have gone after bank patrons who might be depositing large sums of money. They target businessmen, uh, doctors, other people that they feel uh, will be carrying money. It's their uh, modus operandi or MO to uh, pick a target and to surveil him for a certain period of time and then uh, either uh, entering the bank or while he's actually on the line in the bank uh, they target and hit and rob the individual. Police say Brown was one of about 30 suspects they immediately focused their investigation on, who have a record for committing this pattern of robbery. In this particular case, we had several uh, good eyewitnesses, and this individual was picked out. Monsignor Haggerty remains at Methodist Hospital in Park Slope, where he's listed in stable condition. The Holy Thursday attack on a man of the collar shocked and outraged the entire city. Many ordinary New Yorkers and philanthropists like Robert McCauley, chairman of AmeriCares, came forward over the weekend and replaced the stolen tuition money. Police say they've identified by name two of the three remaining suspects, which will hopefully lead to more arrests in the case shortly. Reporting from the 77th Precinct in Brooklyn, I'm Kyung Yoon, Fox 5 News. And it looks like police officer Derek Bodie is going to be okay. He was stabbed several times yesterday in the Bronx while on his way to work. 
Police say it asked a group of teenagers to stop painting graffiti on a subway train. An older group of men thought he was out of line and stabbed him. Officer Bodie is listed in stable condition at this hour at Columbia Presbyterian Hospital. Well, it's a messy name calling at City Hall. A councilman claims that he never said anything against homosexuals. It's all lies. And some of his colleagues say it better be or they would try to get him fired from a very important council job. Jeff Weiser reports. On the past record, Controversy and reporters swirled around New York City Councilman uh, Enoch Williams following the news that Williams, head of the council's health committee, uh, reportedly said New York is too tolerant toward gays, which has led to the spread of AIDS. But it's utter nonsense to suggest that the city is lenient on homosexuals, therefore the spread of AIDS. That's such... It, it is... Um, it's dead wrong. It is inaccurate. It is unfair. It, it, uh, it reckons without any consideration of all the fact that many persons who are heterosexual have AIDS. I fully recognize that gay and lesbian civil rights do not cause AIDS. Ignorance causes AIDS. Councilman Williams, who in 1986 voted against a law that bans anti-gay discrimination, issued a firm denial saying the Post report is distorted and its writer is not accurate. I must say to you, uh, 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 Mr. M Nicholson, am I correct, uh, the name, uh, that you are telling a lie. The quotes in the paper today are accurate. He said the things that he said. And I also might point out that the things that he said now are consistent with what he's been saying for the last 14 years at the hearings on the gay rights bill when he passed the gay rights bill. There was nothing new he said to me that he hadn't said before. You were out speaking every night. No, moment. I did not say that to you. That's, uh, that's, uh, that's, uh, I did not say that to you. And, uh, and again, I think that you uh, fabricate, uh, fabricate in uh, 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 my words. Or Both